Felicia, good morning. Well, the date for that strike is still up in the air. The CTU will decide that next Wednesday, but it seems like the earliest a strike could happen is mid-October. That's if and only if no agreements are made. Now, in order for there to even be a strike, the CTU members had to come up with a 75% vote in favor of a strike. And it turns out the group exceeded that number late yesterday night, coming in with a 94 percentage of votes. Around 25,000 teachers could strike as early as October 7th. Currently, there are more than 350,000 students in Chicago public schools that could be affected. The union's president, Jesse Sharkey, says this is a clear signal that critical issues need to be addressed. The contract on the table includes a 16 percent raise in pay over a five-year period. Mayor Lori Lightfoot and CPS CEO Janice Jackson say that would make Chicago teachers among the highest compensated in the country. But union members have made it clear it's not all about the money. They want to be better staffed and have access to more resources. Jackson and Lightfoot put together a statement saying we are committed to doing everything we can to finalize a deal that is sustainable for all Chicagoans and for our city's future that respects our teachers and continues our students record breaking success for years to come. Now if the CTU ends up going on strike they'll be joining two more groups SEIU local 73 that includes all CPS staff so think custodians bus drivers anything like that and also the Chicago Park District workers leaving parents very limited space to leave their children. I'm live downtown this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Channel.